I'm next to the Palm City Bridge. It's one of three locations along the St. Lucie River that the Florida Health Department in Martin County has flagged for having toxic blue green algae. Voters say the days of enjoying these waters are over. We do not touch the water. We don't even put our feet in when we're putting the boat in or out. We stay as far away from the water as possible. I actually do less boating in here because of it. Boaters in Martin County heed the warning from the Florida Health Department on Friday regarding a toxic blue-green algae bloom found in parts of the St. Lucie River. It can cause neurodegenerative diseases. It can lead to liver damage. It also can cause respiratory distress. So Eve Samples, executive director of Friends of the Everglades, says it's a serious public health concern adding that you don't have to come in direct contact with the water to be at risk. Jackie Mason fears the health issues associated with toxic algae. Years ago, my husband and I both got sick from the water. Don't want to do that again. The Army Corps of Engineers has announced that water releases will pause for two weeks starting Saturday. However, Samples hopes they will stop discharges for longer than that, given today's health alert. Do you think it's two week break in these water discharges is enough? No, absolutely not. The two week break is just a start. In order to protect the public, to protect our environment, we need to extend the relief period and keep the gates closed for much longer than two weeks, hopefully to June 1st and beyond that. The Masons say these discharges have destroyed the clean estuary they once knew. The first year we came here, people used to swim in this river. That's correct. Now, you wouldn't touch this river. For now, they're holding on to hope that the Army Corps of Engineers will stop sending water east once and for all. Cassandra Garcia, WPTV News Channel 5.